This is Twit. Crew nine landing, and I know you want to talk about certain aquatic mammals as well. Go st- stranded, no more. Right? Oh, or I guess I can't maybe there's. You put Maybe quotes they're... around stranded, right? Because if you're not, I'm gonna slap you. No, no, you'll 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 see this one. So, so all, all our stories come from space.com this week, largely because that's where I work, and so sometimes that's where I look for things. Except for one, there's one from Space News. Um, but yeah, Butch and Sunny will uh, Butch uh, uh, Wilmore and Sunny Williams are back on Earth. They landed Tuesday night. Uh, as we're recording this, so a few days ago, never stuck Starliner astronauts. That's from Robert Perlman, my colleague over at Collect Space. Um, to make it really clear that they weren't they weren't really stranded, not since September when they've had their their return ride the entire time. It's been there. So, uh, uh, politics aside, it was just great to see. Uh, these astronauts return home. They came back on a SpaceX Dragon, the Freedom Dragon, uh, with Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut uh, Alexander Gorbanov. And, you know, I've seen a lot of SpaceX splashdowns. Uh, and this one off the Florida coast uh, in the Gulf was one of the most spectacular uh, splashdowns I've ever seen. It was spe- just absolutely stunning skies. Uh, and on the next line there, uh, John, you'll see they had dolphins swimming around their uh, capsule to welcome them back. Uh, and uh, just from soup to nuts, it seemed like a, a picture perfect reentry. In fact, uh, Sonny Williams, uh, Butch Wilmore, there's the dolphins right there. If you're watching the li- the, the video uh, uh, that were just, it was a whole pod of them around uh, during the recovery operations, which was just absolutely stunning and, and surprising to see. And uh, and they were all smiles. They were waving. In fact, uh, later that day that they arrived at Houston and they were walking around. So they seem, even though they were up there for nine months instead of 10 days, to be in, in pretty good shape. And I really hope NASA learned something about having uh, uh, backup uh, and different vehicles and, and you know inter- interchangeable uh, spacesuits and stuff from this whole lesson to try to avoid a similar issue in the future. So welcome back, Butch and Sonny. So we're glad they came back, or did they? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, got to go to it. So, uh, and Anthony uh, tagged me on this. I hadn't seen it, but I looked up um, both uh, fake fake uh, crew recovery for Crew 9 and fake dolphins and blah, blah, blah. So there's <laughs> a conspiracy theory, because isn't there always a conspiracy theory? that maybe this wasn't real because the dolphins are too perfect. And if you look at the way they move through the water and all that, and I can just say, having taken out a large boat many times, dolphins like to come around boats and things <laughs> in the water because they're curious and they like it. And guys, it's real. This was a UK tabloid I looked at. The Daily Mail. The it's from the Daily, Daily Mail, Mail, line 26. There are there. others. <laughs> And, you know, if you've ever spent much time with the Daily Mail between the girly shots and the weirdo stories they have, and it isn't quite the weekly world news from back in the day, but, you know, it's a tabloid. Um, And, of course, all they're doing is reporting, though, on a general movement towards yet another conspiracy, because even though we've been to space, I don't know what, 400 times now in total or something, Mm -hmm. why would we think that this one was real? (laughs) because <laughs> they didn't come home maybe they're yeah. freeze dried up there i mean it's just it every, just every, makes my head hurt every now and then i ha- i like have that wake up in a cold sweat what if it was all a big sham like what have i been going to florida watching launch off this planet because i'm there with my eyes i see them roll the shuttles out you yeah, know i was yeah, i was but there but what? what if what if it was all a big show a big show and it was like all not real no but then again we're all living in a simulation anyway right i was gonna say so yeah. so <laughs> So my three hours crawling around the inside of Discovery when it was a turnaround at Edwards Air Force Base wasn't a real space shuttle. It was I'll, just I'll tell you though, I think that the dream. I think that the reason this got ticked off is because I uh, this this one got picked up is because I, I what I think happened is that either NASA or SpaceX because SpaceX likes to use these really high resolution drones for right. their launches. I think they got something like that from the recovery ship. Uh, and the landing video that NASA showed was from that, and it looked so much different and so high resolution than anything we've seen before that it, it the it, SpaceX stuff, you mean. the SpaceX stuff. It when it was absolutely well, that's because I wanted probably, to be there. I bet so, they're shooting 8K, and uh, I, I think NASA moved on from 720p, but they were using 720p as a standard up until I don't yeah. know five years ago or something. Yeah, it was. It was. I've never seen just such stunning 
re-entry the parachutes billowing in the wheat in the in the uh, after the splash it was sp- sp- spectacular well everyone should we, go back and watch the video of the landing it's really great when so. we host our uh this week in space party down in long beach we'll take everybody out for a dolphin cruise to prove that it was real mm-hmm.